4.2.2 neutralization of acids and salt production. So if we want to make a salt um, we need an acid and something else we need to react it with. So acids are neutralized by alkalis. So alkalis are soluble metal hydroxide. So you can notice it if it's a metal hydroxide, if it's got a metal part and an OH part and it's got AQ in brackets, then you know it's soluble, so you know it's an alkali. Insoluble metal hydroxides and metal oxides are given another name, they're called bases. So acids are neutralized by alkalis and by bases. Just a note on that, an alkali is also a base, uh, but an alkali is a special type of base. It's one that is soluble in water that has OH minus ions in solution. So the product of the reaction between an acid and an alkali or an acid and a base is always a salt and water. And the salt you make depends on two things. It depends on the acid and it also depends on the positive ion in the base. So let's have a look at the acids first of all. Chlorides are produced by hydrochloric acid. So if you use hydrochloric acid, you're always going to make a chloride salt. Nitrates are produced by nitric acid. So if you want to make a nitrate, you've got to use nitric acid. And finally, sulfates are produced by sulfuric acid. The clue's in the name, sulfate, sulfuric. So the metal part comes from the base or the alkali you've used. So if you've used copper oxide, then copper oxide it gives a copper ion, which has got the ion, the formula Cu2+. If you use sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide gives the, the ion sodium ion, Na+. If you use calcium carbonate or limestone, it gives the calcium ion, which is Cu, Ca2+. It says Cu2 plus on there, it's wrong, Ca2 plus. So let's have a look at some word equations. Let's keep it nice and simple with word equations here. Copper oxide reacts with sulfuric acid to make, well, the salt is going to be copper, because we've got copper ions in the copper oxide, and sulfate, because we've used sulfuric acid. So it's going to be copper sulfate and water. Sodium hydroxide reacts with nitric acid. It's going to be sodium nitrate because we've used nitric acid and water. And finally, calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid makes calcium chloride because we've used hydrochloric acid and water. The thing to note, if we've used a carbonate, we also get carbon dioxide given off.